place meant to help young people learn how to create a better life. But last night, dozens gathered outside in the cold to try to figure out what went wrong. Amy Hawley has the story. Amy? Well, art's text motto is teaching the art of making a living. The center has existed for years in the metro to help those who are struggling to get back on their feet and help young people move toward a better future. But that is far from what happened there last night. Overnight, a school bus waited outside of Arts Tech, a youth education center. But it wasn't there to bring students in. It was there to haul away dozens of young people who may have witnessed a crime that cut a life short. No! No! Police were downtown patrolling parking problems when they say they heard the gunshots. They ran to the scene at 16th and Holmes and found a young man dead in the center's parking lot. Witnesses say the victim and gunman had come from inside, where adults had sponsored an underage alcohol and drug-free party. Some girls out the window saying that this guy was about to shoot, and then he started shooting, and they ran from the windows. Yeah, we always get searched. There's never anything inside of the party. It's mainly outside the party right now. Stuff gets real. The violence is so real that even though the party was meant to provide a safe place with security for young people to have good, clean fun, they told reporters this morning that that kind of sanctuary is only a brief pause from their day-to-day -day reality. I'm not that surprised, to be honest. Just Why? I mean, somebody's dead. And that doesn't surprise you. I mean, it's just, yeah, it happens. It's, it's sad to say that it happens a lot, but it does. Just down the street from someone's heartache and sorrow, a 19-year-old and her friends say they're sad, too. Obviously, people can't handle the confrontation anymore, so they decide to bring violence into it. They say they're sad. The violence will now take away their parties and their fun. It sucks. Police say they're looking for a black man with braids who left the scene in a dark-colored newer model Jeep Liberty or Patriot. Witnesses estimate up to 200 people at the party. That's why police believe somebody from that party knows who the man is. Call the TIPS hotline if you can help. 816-474-TIPS. In the newsroom, Amy Holly, NBC Action News.